what is going on we are we're at the shop today it's a busy week busy busy week we've been doing bag installs coilover installs we've been doing a little bit of everything but this is one that i wanted to show you because these are fun to me these are these are cars that i like to do we got this nice honda civic here hey yo what the fuck as we see got into a little bit of an accident but if we take off the hood it's a lot better going on engine i already unbolted the hood pop the hood off and move the car over to here so that way i can get my welder right there and everything and the drill and stuff like that but we should be able to knock this out pretty fast relatively i've done a bunch of brad supports in my time on egs if you don't know i owned the eg myself I owned the same EG five different times. So EGs are kind of like, kind of like something I already know, you know, like the back of my hand type shit. Let's get this moved over and let's get it stripped out so we can get this swapped out real fast for him. All right, well. Here goes nothing. All right, so now that I got the bumper off and we can see everything behind it, pretty much essentially the headlights got to come out, this crash bar has got to come out. This fender's gonna have, both fenders have to come off, honestly. Both fenders come off. Essentially get as much of this front section out of my way as possible. Let's get to it. Headlights are tens, fenders are tens. Mostly everything's tens, everything's tens. All right, if you guys want to learn how to work on a car, okay, like, and, and, and you really don't know anything about cars, get yourself an old style Honda. You, they're cheap. Everything's right in front of you. There's mad videos on them. They're cheap. And if you mess them up, guess what? They're cheap. So you can fix them because they're cheap. So let's get this, uh, Let's continue stripping this down. We got fenders off both sides, headlights out. Um, so pretty much a bunch of tens all around here. You got to take off for the fender liner, two, two Phillips, 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 Phillips. And then there's a bunch of tens under here on a bracket. Um, so you got to get all of those. But uh, yeah, next we're going to do the uh, crash bar after you get the crash bar out because everything's just held on with all these spot welds. I'm gonna straighten this out. Obviously not straighten this out, but I'm gonna straighten out this before I drill those out. But for the most part, let's see what's going on. So, right back to it. Now this is the most annoyingest part and I'm not going to bore you guys with just recording a time lapse of me doing this. Okay, I'm just going to explain it and then I'll show you how when it's done. So all these little dimples here, all these little dimples here, these are spot welds. Alright, so I have to draw all of these so that way just this front section can come off. Alright, so once I'm done drilling all that out and I separate it. It's gonna look like this. All right, so, got ready? Three, two, one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Two hours in, two hours in. Ready to go. 
Uh, so when I was removing this side, some of the some of the pinch welds ended up staying. So what I have to do is get my grinder and end up just grinding these flat with the rest of this. So it would end up looking like this side. See how there's no extra on it. And then I just gotta straighten this out a little bit. Same thing on this side. I am so sorry. I, I am so sorry. I, it's on. <laughs> it's on. All right, so what did we do? What did we do? So this side did not line up at all because this is where the accident happened. This was over here. So essentially, I had to take my hammer and move all of that that way, okay? So we got this 10 in and then we got this 10 in. After that, all it is is you gotta get the two 14s back in, or 12s, sorry, these are 12s. You gotta get the two 12s back in where the uh, crash bar goes. And um, yeah, that's it. So normally, you can just run it just like this. All right, I'm gonna still drill out a hole here. Drill out a hole here. Drill out one here. And then do about three along here on each side and spot weld them in that way. So that way it's spot welded and bolted. Let's get that done and uh, show y'all where we're at. No more bolts. Where'd they go? And y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm moving the whole car. This shit ain't going nowhere. Uh-huh. 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 Me. Now we just gotta start bolting everything back together. Literally just start putting it back together. This thing will be a brand new car again. Like it never happened. So let's uh, put it back together. Check it out. FKA Achi right here. Hey, look at that! Look at that! You where we at? At fucking Marsh Built. Montro! Right, he back there somewhere. My boy Montro hooked it up. Feel me? I really appreciate it. Appreciate my boy Marsh coming through as always. Over here, tucking on 20. There you know. Is it lower today or is it just me? I don't know. It looks a little lower to me. Hey, yo! That's it, that's it, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's Four hours. That was it. Yeah. Not bad. Um, super simple install. Um, can't, I can't complain. Can't complain. I think we're gonna end that here. Um, I may go to this car meet after this, so if you guys see footage from a car meet after I put this ending in, um, that's why. Because it's beautiful out today and literally I just got sent to a shit ton of times for uh, Los Goonies and not another racer. So we may get some car content for ya. Well. After that last clip, it all went downhill. <laughs> Ran over across town to go pick up Bree, so that way we could go to the car meets for the night. And um, I had to take the welder home because I'm doing the welding jobs I told you about tomorrow and Saturday, Sunday. So um, I didn't have the truck today, obviously. So I put it in the back of the Accord and. I was rubbing a little more than like usual, so obviously because I had a welder and a tank in the back. So something told me to drop it off after I picked up Brie and I was around the block from the house and I got a nail in my tire. This is now the second time that's happened. I had a nail puncture the sidewall right after Kalahari and literally we left the show and maybe 10 minutes away from the show punctured the sidewall, same exact thing. Luckily, it happened around the corner from the house. Um, I'm glad that I ended up coming home to drop off the welder because if I didn't, this would have happened the complete opposite direction of my house and then I would have been 
SOL. So because of that, um, out of rage over that nail, I finally ordered my spare wheel set up. So yeah, we'll be getting a video on new wheels for the Accord. If you're close to me, I've been talking about buying these wheels for nine months, 10 months. It's been a very long time. Um, they're complete bolt-on spares. Uh, the wheels and tires, brand new, cost me $700. So I'm getting brand new wheels and tires for $700. Bolt-on, no spacers. Drop a guess in the comments on which I think I purchased. We're gonna end this one here. Let me know what you guys think. Motivational speech time. Don't let life's obstacles throw you off course from the journey that you are on. You have a good rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one.